They turned you off. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. You guys. You. So, I tried to do something different and give you content that nobody asked for again. And you guys didn't like it, okay? I get it. Like, it wasn't for you. It wasn't what you're looking for. You're here for the feet. You're here for the farts. I don't know what you're here for. You're gross, and I love you. So, now, what I'm going to do today is kind of do, um, maybe we'll call it like a mixture. It's a little bit of you. Let me just, I'm just pulling my pants up. It's a little bit of you. It's a little bit of me, and I'm just mixing them together. It's going to be awkward. It's going to be weird but I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. So what I'm doing today is uh, reading you <laughs> my DMs. As a person who advertised, advertises, as a person who let the world know that they could sell pictures of their feet, these are the sorts of messages I get, and I just want you to be prepared for it. Okay, so if you'll excuse me, I need my glasses because I'm old. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Jossie Potts. I just found your YouTube channel and I love your videos. Thanks, doll. I did have one question about starting an OnlyFans. I'm not really sure when I should start one. I'm not sure if I have enough followers yet or if I should just do it. Um... As many of you know, uh, I haven't entered into OnlyFans yet. It's like one of my most requested DMs, whatever. And I just need to know if y'all are serious, okay? So basically, I did not have a lot of advice for this person regarding signing up for OnlyFans. And I don't have a lot of advice for you guys about OnlyFans either. But stay tuned for my next video. So like, if you wanna have an OnlyFans, make an OnlyFans, and I'm pretty sure, pump it up like anything else, like your Instagram profile, like anything. You have to sell yourself. Work it, work it. Yeah, I got you, madam. It's so hard to be a young boy, which is have to wait to come on his dream woman, but I am not pretty rich. I am earning my own money. I have to wait till I see your booty exactly. And then this person proceeded to send me videos. And I only know what these videos are of, so just so you know, if you send me pics and videos on Instagram, I make my husband open them. So thank you for your dick. My husband's not impressed, and neither am I, okay? Um, like why? I will never understand. I mean, if I want your dick pic, I will contact you. I get a lot of people responding to my Instagram stories because from time to time, I do post pictures of my feet on there. A little teaser slash, I'm probably looking like shit that day and uh, my feet might be the only thing about me that is not repulsive <laughs> at that time. So they said, oh my God, need to see your souls. I said, it'll cost ya, with the kissy face emoji. He said, how much for vids? With a laughing face with, is that sweat, sweating? Whatever. I said, depends how long, $20 for around two minutes. Now here's another thing to be aware of. I don't speak in these videos. I'm not interested in saying your name or moaning, like, no, no. I'm not, so you're getting two minutes of my toes just a wiggling, because they don't do a whole lot of, I mean, they pick stuff up, they are good at that. Anyways, he said, can I have one minute to try and $5 per pick if it is possible? This is not a negotiation, my friend. I've decided as soon as you messaged me whether or not I'm feeling, uh, if I'm feeling nice, basically. They said, hi beauty queen okay slow your roll right there all right queens are old and i am still in my prime so beauty princess will be sufficient and i said hello because i'm not a bitch okay sometimes and they said you looking too much cute i'll accept 
accept it. That's fine. I followed to your beauty and I never responded because what do you say to that? I'm sorry about your death, that you have fallen dead at the sight of me. I'm sorry. This person asked me if they could purchase photos. I said yes. They said, I'm 19, is that okay? I said, yes. They said, great, thank you. Could you do any pictures of a young guy sniffing your feet and sucking your toes? I said, no. Listen, this is not what I do. I mean, it's porn, but it's not porn, okay? Like, try to understand. <sighs> Don't ask me for samples, I mean, generally. Don't ask me for anything. Just don't ask, okay? But like, please do keep purchasing things for me because like, thank you from my kids for a really lovely Christmas, okay? And then I'm going to cap her off with my literal favorite message I have ever gotten. Oh, it's not even here. For some reason it deleted it, I'm so sad. This person responded to my Instagram story of my feet at the top of a playground um, where I said up where the kids can't find me because like true and the person responded to the story and said fuck those kids and I laughed and I said for sure she said sorry that was a rude comment I said I actually laughed really hard at it because fuck those kids <laughs> okay and she said by the way I want to sell feet pics and then we got into a discussion about how she could do that. And now I would really like to be best friends with that person because yes, fuck those kids, okay? Ugh. Can't even see you guys anymore. I look better when I'm blurry though, ooh. Ooh, she cute though. So those are just some of the DMs I get, um, your penises and your questions about advice and your weak ass attempts at negotiations and I appreciate every last one of them but not the dicks so much so stop that but keep going with everything else I'd love to hear from you all and uh, this has been such a fun video to make because now you get to feel as uncomfortable as I feel when I open my phone every day of my life this has been Jossie Potts saying stop sending your dicks and I love you all.